Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself key repair video today. Uh, working on a Dell Inspiron laptop, and I'm going to show you how to take a key off and then how to put it back on safely. Uh, I'm doing this because oftentimes it's safer to replace a key than it is the entire keyboard, uh, especially with some French inset keyboards. Um, if you replace the whole keyboard, you've pretty much ruined your palm rest and it, and it will never be secure again. So uh, I'm going to show you how to take a key off safely, what to look for, and then how to put it back on. Uh, any questions, uh, leave them below. If you're seeing something in your keyboard that doesn't quite look like um, what you're seeing in, in this video, uh, you can leave me a comment and I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so first of all, we're going to go for the L key. Seems like it's in the middle of the screen there. You're going to take your small screwdriver and you're going to put it underneath your key cap, which is the top part, but you're going to go on top of your retainer clip, which is underneath this. You can't see it right now. So I'm going to do this real quick and then show you uh, what it looks like once I get it off and, and why we're doing it that way. So peel this up a little bit, slide my screwdriver underneath and then peel it up. Okay, so that came up without too much trouble, put off to the side. As you can see here, my screwdriver is holding down this white retainer clip. Uh, sometimes they'll be black, uh, but they'll generally look the same way. Uh, there'll be two parts that form one clip, uh, and they'll be held down by two metal pins toward the bottom corners and two metal pins toward the top corners. Uh, rarely you'll see some clips with one metal pin uh, in the middle on either the top or bottom and those will have uh, three pins, two toward the corners, one in the middle on the, on the, on the other side. Uh, but generally speaking, they all look like this. And then you'll see this rubber component in the middle uh, that kind of bounces up, it, it, it pushes the cap back up after it's been pressed. Be very careful not to um, uh, rip that up. It's only held down by glue. They're very hard to get back down. Uh, now in order to get this up safely, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the metal pins towards the closest to, to the edge. So in this case, it will be these ones on top. Uh, your model may be different depending on what kind of Inspiron model you have. Uh, but mine are on the top. So I'm going to take my fingernail and push on the bottom, push up, try to get as much wiggle room as possible. And then I'm going to be taking my flathead and slowly, gently prying these corner plastic pieces up from underneath the metal. Now this is where you're going to break it if you do. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it up and, it, and how small that plastic is. So be very careful. Get that end up. Other side. There we go. Okay. So I'll show you what that looked like. Now if you see here, this corner piece and this corner piece, that's what was underneath the metal clips. Very thin plastic, very easily broken. Uh, that's why I say if you do break this at any point, it, it'll be there. Um, so, so be very careful with that part. Now in order to put it down, in order to reinstall it safely, uh, we're going to kind of go in re reverse. Uh, we're going to put the top part in first as opposed to the bottom part that we just did. Oh, I'm sorry, we just took the top up first, so we're going to put the bottom down first. So put that clip in there, get it kind of all set on the bottom, get these bottom metal clips in place nice and secure. And when this whole thing is, is, is kind of centered, just press in the top two corners and they should just snap in. Just like that. Uh, and, and now that's all set. Now when you take your keycap and you place it on top, same thing, just eyeball it, get it as centered as possible, and then just press. Just like that. So that's how you would remove a key safely. That's how you would install one.